there is something weird going on at Boost Motorola. It's a product I've never seen. Should now put in frame. Yeah, yeah, frame. <laughs> okay, so are we, are we set? We're set. We're set for Motorola Solutions at the Expo 2024. Fantastic booth. A lot of products here, a lot of solutions. Uh, by the way, this is Jessica Carriac, she's from the marketing department of Motorola Solutions, and she's going to tell me all about what's on show at the booth over here and later on about the cupcake, but that's later. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. As you said, this year at PMR Expo, we're showcasing our safety and security ecosystem. So that's for both public safety and enterprise organizations and includes voice, video, data and analytics to bring a solution for everyone that makes communities safer. Okay, so before we go into the three pillars of Motorola solutions, there is something weird going on at Boost Motorola. It's a product I've never seen, so let's dive into that one first, okay. Looks like a very big camera. Did you see, we have two eyes watching us right now, right? What is that? Yeah. Uh, this is a, a long-range camera detection system uh, you would use for airports uh, or at border protection for a long-range detection of people, drones, those kind of objects. Okay, so when we talk about long range, uh, one kilometer or, or 200 meters or 50 meters, or I don't have any clue. Right, so typically we'd say it starts from one kilometer, then we can up to 10, 20, 30 kilometer. There is, it's really long, long Seriously? Distance. Absolutely, so we can detect persons. It's typically persons or vehicles or flying objects like, like drones. We want to see and detect and do, well, whatever is necessary. So criminals are definitely not safe anymore. You know, it's not about a camera that's just no. above your head. No. It's about cameras far away. Absolutely, ahead, right? absolutely. That, that is absolutely. stunning. That is fantastic. That's it, yeah. So from long range detection to Halo. But what does Halo mean, Jussi? Uh, this is a, a multi-sensor, you could say. So it detects vapes, detects smokes. You can even say some keywords. And at the end, it creates new alarms next to cameras. So in areas where you can't uh, put cameras to for mm -hmm. various reasons, or you just want to additionally detect other than just people, uh, the sensor is a great um, addition to a traditional video security setup. It delivers you a whole security system. This one with video and even access control if you want. This is something that's a little bit different at the show this year, which is a CCTV tower. It's a deployable solution for events. That's a huge one, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, very right. tall, but um, it's something that can be quickly deployed and have our fixed video attached to the top. A video is well, it's, it's a big part of Motorola Solutions portfolio, right? The focus of Motorola is to bring together these technologies, video, communications, like we talked about before. All right, yes, guys, so many new solutions. One of them is Moto Turbo. We'll look about it later. Um, who else are we going to harass right now? <laughs> Ian Williams, right? Ian Williams, so I'll take you this way. Okay, good. So this is the Protect Zone, where we have our body camera solutions. Uh, we also have our new workflow management system, Noggin. And lastly, if you come around the corner, I'll introduce you to Ian here and he'll talk you through our mobility applications. All right, Ian, okay. All right, so what do we got here? Okay, so this is called Pronto. This is software that we use for frontline mobile police officers. And we give them a complete overview of all of the systems they need to operate on. So rather than giving them siloed applications where they have to keep retyping the data between systems, we give them one interface for all of the systems that they operate on so they can get deployed, they can get their tasking, they can go and use that data to do their searching on multiple national local systems. While on the beat. Exactly. And then they can reuse the data again in workflows to complete their reports. So that's the okay. best example of the digital policing, right? Exactly. Exactly. The screen you're looking at at the moment is uh, I'm assigned to a, uh, a, 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 rec a road traffic incident. There's all sorts of ways that I can get into that CAD. I can show more details on the CAD. I can plot a route to that CAD and I can get directions to it. The other thing that I can do 
the other thing that I can do, it started, it started doing that now. So, so this is a CarPlay unit, or it's, it's Android Auto and CarPlay. We've integrated with that, so when the officers get into their vehicle, the data that's available on their phone is immediately available on the CarPlay unit or the Android Auto unit. And if they leave the vehicle, we don't leave any data behind, they take it with them. For the efficiency, yeah, the, the police officers who use it absolutely love it because they've got everything at their fingertips and it's making their job easier, but it's also making efficiencies for the forces. So they're saving millions and millions of pounds of dollars. Ian, thank you very much. Police officers, here we come. Fantastic solution for Motorola Solutions. What's next? So that was about Pronto. Um, there is there is more because there are three things <laughs> there's definitely more so in the meantime sean is ready and he's waiting for us right yep okay go. Let's go. this is an official announcement <laughs> i would say sean you have something in your hands that um, everybody wants to hold in their hand at this event Probably I should now put in Fraser. Yeah, yeah, Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> Just there, in case. Yeah. There are two new radios, and it's called the R5. Motor Turbo R5. Motor right. Turbo R5 is the full name for the radio. And why did you develop two new radios? Well, they're both part of the same range, obviously. We have, if I hold them, you can see. Yeah, so? One with display, yeah. one, one plane model. Yeah. Uh, both very much focused on the mid-tier. So when we were designing this radio, we looked at improving the basic fundamentals that you need. Yes. So the voice quality, the overall audio experience, being easy to use. So we've made some improvements to the aesthetics and the ergonomics of the device so that it's much more intuitive and more easy to use for the user. And finally, of course, like all of our devices, robust so that it will withstand the everyday knocks and drops. So, you know, you want it to work today as well as it does in the future. So that was the three areas that we very much targeted on. Uh, particularly around audio, much louder than its predecessor, and also with the AI noise suppression, or AI trained noise suppression, that we introduced earlier in the year on our higher tier device. So, so how is it possible to create even a radio that is even louder than the predecessor, uh, without disturbing the sound quality? Because if there is somewhere a payoff, right? Exactly, yeah. So we do have a new speaker design. So the previous speakers were narrow band, these ones are wider band, so they have a better frequency response. So you can have a louder audio with that same or lower distortion than some of the predecessors. Yeah, so there's an awful lot of attention that's gone into that, that, you know, that basic voice. The killer Apple radio is always voice, so we want to make that as good as possible for the user. Jessica Anderson, who is this beautiful lady over here, this is the latest and greatest of Motorola Solutions. We covered that last year. Yeah. Um, so, but there's something more, right? This, this is great, but can I? Now, okay, tell me. That button again, so we just, <laughs> <laughs> so we just press this button here. It doesn't make sense to me. We're talking about body cameras. Yeah. Um, now I have a taser in my hand and I have a gun in my hand. Well, if you think about it, the police, for example, in highly stressful situations, that's where the evidence needs to be captured. And what better to do, what better to do that than a body camera? So when your um, weapon or taser is unholstered, it, Active, activates the camera immediately and it turns on without you having to press your camera because your hands are going to be busy getting your weapon out and doing whatever your camera automatically turns on when your weapon is unholstered that's really solving for saver is it it is yes okay so how does the camera know that i just took the gun out of my holster because I don't see any software stuff so, in, in the holster. You say you don't, but if you look here, we actually have a Bluetooth, ah. Bluetooth reader. So ah. what it does is, again, because this is a plastic version and we've got a metal strip here, when the metal strip passes... There's an activation and then snap, bang. Snap, bang. Oh, not Bluetooth. really bang. No, not ho really bang. hopefully not bang. <laughs> All right. <laughs> these are these are comfy seats at, uh, at the booth of Motorola Solutions. Uh, Jessica, we, we, we saw a lot of new development, a lot of new stuff, a lot of integration of, of all kinds of technologies. Now, now you need to market that, right? That you need to bring it to the people. You need to let everybody understand that that they cannot just rely on one specific product if it's about technology. It's the whole ecosystem. So, so how important is that ecosystem for Motorola Solutions? 
That is the most important thing for us at the moment, the safety and security ecosystem. It's showcasing communities, public safety organisations and enterprise organisations that equipping themselves with all of the technology ultimately makes response times quicker, more efficient and at the end of the day keeps everyone safe. Great, thank you very much for showing me around no at problem. the booth. It was a great, it was a great few hours here at the booth. Next year, same place, same time? <laughs> I'll be here in the seat, in the seat. Next year, same place, same time. See you then. Thanks.